Hey guys, uh, new collection video. Um, I'm busting them out today because I have time and I have records. So um, yeah, these records are almost all from Bissau Messer in Berlin. Um, I have a running tab there, so once in a while I tell them to make my bill and then they send me a big box full of records. Uh, there are a few records that just were pre-ordered that came in and then one from the shop, my local shop. And there are some hidden flexies in here. These are the decibel flexies, yes. Uh, cattle decapitation and saviors with wino. Still great. Um, still great records coming in, although I don't play them as much. I play the Watain one, the Leviathan one, maybe the I had got one, but for us, I'll play that Saviors one. Okay, now let's get into records. This is, um, crap, I forgot it. Predatory Lights on Pesanta Uchvolk. I, um, I'm not sure how this is related to or with the same members, but it's that Ash 4 Foul Voices uh, team up. Um, that, that also did Vanum and Ford and I don't know what else. It's that kind of metal. It's just, it has no inserts. It's a, just a black 10 inch, but it's great music. So yeah, Predatory Lights. It's still available, I think, from um, Fallen Empire will have it and then Pesanta maybe. I'm not sure. Check it out. It's great. If you're into Ashbor fell voices. And then I caved and got these uh, Lysol and Eggnog and Bullhead and Ozma. The reissues, because why not? It's not like I'm going to pay 60 bucks for Ozma. I would pay 60 bucks for Bullhead, but you know. Uh, so these are the reissue doubles. Uh, they are on Boner Records. Yeah, Melvin's. You know Melvin's. Problem is with this one, Osma Records in here, Bullhead not in here. So I uh, mailed them and uh, they will fix it for me. Plastic sleeve, nothing much. There is a really bad picture from the Melvins torturing a cat. They went down a notch on my um, Melvins love scale for that one. But it's a girl, so it's not their fault. And then this one has a um, plastic sleeve with uh, Easter Bunny inserts. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this one because a lot of people will show these. And then the uh, roses for the Lysol. So yeah, great reissues. Um, that one's forever. <laughs> Sorry, man. Don't send your lawyers. Um, then. A uh, bit more obscure band. This is Cloud Red. This is a release on one, two, three, four, five record labels. Halo Flies is the most recognizable to me. Uh, this is Cloud Red Click Pots. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Q L I P H O T H Clip Pot. And it says the shattering of the vessels of the thoughtful. The cover doesn't really, um, really bring out the violent sounds these guys uh, bring out. It's sludge in the vein of Tao, maybe, but um, it's with female vocals. Clip art, you know, like Cloud Rap. Love the band. Wish I could see them alive. They're not playing these parts. They did a European tour, but not Belgium. So yeah, maybe in the near future. Because um, Vendetta has a lot of their stuff. Uh, the this off message has a lot of their stuff. So maybe they can, I don't know. They'll do Europe. Uh, a lot of tracks on this one. Look at that. It's like a movie. Um, like movie titles in the end, the credits. So yeah, Clip Hot, Cloud Rat. Um, then the Funerary 
Starless Aeon. This is on Vendetta. This was, I don't know if it's a tape release and then they released the um, final. But it's a massive Doom record. Man. It has the obligatory candle um, artwork for Doom. And it's kind of a see through silver. The vinyl, this is the pre order. I think they do 100 colors. They always put that, um, put the color aside for me. So that's cool. I kind of like the cover. It's that revo reverse cardboard jacket that fits the aesthetic of this record, I guess. So, yeah, funerary, they have a split with Ooze coming out which sounds massive too. Then, uh, some more from this of message. This is the Los Crudos uh, discography from Maximum Rock and Roll. Uh, this is a double LP discografia. Sorry if I'm pushing it. And in true Maximum Rock and Roll style, it has a newspaper poster insert. It has a newspaper booklet with flyers, photos, you know, everything you would want from a Los Crudos discography. And the vinyl is the black. There's a color version. I think red. I'm not sure. So yeah, nice discography. It has like a gazillion tracks on here. Um, I haven't given it a listen, so I can't tell you how it's mastered, but I'm sure it's crappy and crackly, just the way it should. Nice cover. I love it. It has 16, 14, 17, and 19 tracks on these two records. So yeah, you can imagine the speed they blast through. Then the last one I got, I think, yeah, the last one I got from uh, Bissoff Mask of Gnot Infinity Machines on Rocket. It has that nice ink black artwork. I thought when I looked at the side of Rocket that this was going to be a triple gatefold, but it's a one sleeve fits all. It comes in black and it has these markings for side one side two and so on and so on um, yeah cool artwork very uh, minimalistic but I like it kind of bummed that it's not a triple gatefold but um, you know it's cool Gnad is uh, really hard to describe they uh, flip to genres like I flip to records uh, this is sold out on Rocket. I'm not sure if you can get it. Yeah. They're great live shows. Great live shows. Can I check them out. They have split with White Hills and stuff like that. So yeah, that was um, the best of Master update. I, I talk about them so much they should sponsor me, don't you think? Sometimes they waver the shipping costs, but net match. Um, this one, this is a record I was waiting for a while. This is a Stephen O'Malley Eternal Idol on Shelter Press. Uh, Stephen O'Malley from Sun. This is a soundtrack he did for Giselle Villain, a theater woman who, I'm not sure if this is a movie or a theater. It is a uh, soundtrack for a ice hockey movie. Giselle Villain, I'm sorry, not the Villain. This is the white first press, 500 copies, and it comes with this book. It kind of reminds me of uh, Matthew Barney, first Cree Master. Or then fourth one with the race, race cars. She uh, she always has these weird, she did Kindertoten Lieder KTL, another project of, um, of O'Malley that came from um, a theater of hers, you know. Weird shit, cool images. I haven't listened to it. it came in, these all came in yesterday. I only listened to one of them, so um, 
Yeah, this is uh, O'Malley. I think this is sold out, maybe. The second press is already ordered, so I guess first press is sold out. Cool record. Nice. Um, then I got two records at Editions Mago because this one was coming out, Shit and Shine. Everybody's an expert. A fucking expert. Uh, yeah, Shit and Shine. Look at the cover. Doggies. Doggies. You know I love Shit and Shine by now, right? Then you have a track like Lady Bird. You're in my all-time favorite list. It's just black, 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 black with yellow inner labels. Um, it's more of a bass heavy, but it's not as heavy as previous. Not like the, um, yeah, not like five records ago, bass heavy, but it's still that bass. It's not uh, jazzy like Shaken, but it has tracks like Upside Down, Cheeseburger, Bus Station, Vespa Nest, another Dutch track. Uh, Chop the Night, Working on My Fitness, Picnic Table, Ass, that's hyphen, uh, and Clapham Mort, Life is Short, Be Nice, that's a nice tip. Play out by Stephen O'Malley. He does a lot of Editions Mingle stuff. And then, while I was there, I picked up this one, and I have to look at it. Nazo Ranai. It is um, the most painful time happens only once has it arrived already. It is O'Malley, it is um, uh, what's the Japanese guy? Keiji Haino, uh, O'Malley and Oran Bakshi. So it's noisy, droney, whatever. This is a part of that uh, Soma. Is it Soma? Um, yeah, I think Soma. Soma um, line from uh, Editions Mabel. One in, uh, O'Malley curates. It's live. Uh, it's, this is the second one coming out from the trio, I think, is live. Recorded at CCSO Birmingham in July 2013. I haven't heard it yet, but you know, if these three come together, you know what to expect. Drone, shrieks, and on Bakshi on drums, so heavy battery. Uh, last thing I picked up yesterday, Friday is mostly record, um, record shop visiting day after work, you know, to reward myself after um, after a hard week, whatever. And I was looking for uh, records collecting, collecting dust DVD that wasn't there. They streamed it yesterday, so perfect. I will pick it up. It's not as good as I thought because for example, they show Justin Pearson from The Locust, and he has a lot of records in the back, and they don't really talk about the records. They just answer questions like, what's your favorite record, what's your first record? So I'm going to pick up the DVD, and I hope the bonus stuff will be um, that, you know, just him pulling out some records, or um, Greg Anderson was there, he didn't show any records, he just standing in front of uh, high on fire boxes. So yeah, I hope the bonus will do better. I picked up this one, uh, Beach House. I don't have a lot of Beach House. I have the one, the Zebra 12 inch. And this is the first full album I'm buying from these guys. Uh, this is the Preston Sherry. This is on Bella Union, not the Sub Pop. Not the white one, not the clear one, just the black one. I love the uh, artwork. It's, you know, like velvet flocked. But for now, I'll keep the plastic on. Um, it's it's Beach House. It's dream pop. It's beautiful female vocals. Sometimes the guitar goes a little up high, you know, and gets a bit out of the dream. I wouldn't say it becomes a nightmare, considering all the nightmare stuff I have here. But um, yeah, it's it's nice. I'm, I'm buying records because I have a upstairs too. I don't live in a basement all the time. And my girlfriend's there, so she wants to hear records too. So stuff like this and a new Tame Impala, you know. Chick records. I'm not sure. Last one, I promised it, is this beast. False. I've been waiting for a long time. I used to order straight from Adam Delete, but um, you know, since we have uh, 
ideal true hypertension that we trade. I have to wait for the trade. It is a double gate false. I can't tell you much about false because there's nothing on the internet. There's maybe one interview. There's one interview in Decibel. There's one on Noisy, but you know. Download codes. There you go, if you want it. Enjoy. Be the first. There is a sticker. Then there's an insert that is folded. Now, I'm not sure if they did it because it's perfectly folded. Um, it's possible. It's a lyric sheet with some of the artwork. I'm not completely stoked on the artwork. I am completely stoked on the music. It is uh, female fronted black metal with a lot of keyboard overtones and, you know, it takes some time to get used to the sounds. It's just a double black, nothing more in it. It takes some time getting used to the, this sound. Even, I, even for me, I'm I love the previous one, I love Heavy as a Church Tower, you know, the sort of Vargast. But this will take some time, I'm not lying. It's, it's not acquired taste, but you know, it's not, it's not one lesson and done. So check it out. There's still some copies left, colors are all gone, but the black is still there. So that's it. Those were all the records, a lot of records, but for now. Let's enjoy these. No more new ones. Maybe Tim and Paula for the girl. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Enjoy. Bye.